Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video today on drying ring of fire peppers and just kind of show you what the process is. I've been harvesting some over the last week or so and I don't have a whole lot yet but I have enough that you know I can start drying them and, and uh, get them ready to start making a hot pepper powder out of. Um, some of them I actually strung up in the kitchen to just to start the drying process early. Um, but then I picked uh, some yesterday and a few more today and uh, I just want to get these in there and um, get them started. So ring of fire peppers are, are pretty hot. Uh, depending on what your taste for hot is, I guess that's all relative. But. So if you take, like I'm growing Luschauer uh, paprika peppers in the garden this year as well. And I've only harvested like two or three of those so far. And those run about 1,000 to 1,500 Scoville units. A jalapeno pepper runs about 2,500 to 5,000 Scoville, Scoville units. Uh, the ring of fire pepper runs 20,000 Scoville units. So it's a much hotter pepper. You know, it's going to be at least four times hotter than your average everyday jalapeno. Um, so when you're working with these, you definitely want to be careful. You want to wear gloves. Uh, really, with working with any type of hot peppers, you should wear gloves because, you know, you get the capsaicin on your hands, rub an eye, pick your nose, you're gonna be crying for a while. So, you know, take some safety precautions and um, wear some gloves. Uh, so we're gonna be doing these in a de uh, dehumidifier uh, or food dryer, whatever the heck you wanna call it. Uh, you can do them in the oven um, you can probably run them in your oven anywhere from six to eight hours up to about 175 degrees. You don't want to go any hotter than that because that can then start cooking the pepper and change your flavor. But um, I'm going to actually be doing this at a lower temperature in the food dryer. Uh, it's, I'm going to be running them at about 135 degrees and they will probably take, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 hours to get these dry enough to grind into a powder. Uh, but uh, it's kind of late in the afternoon, I might just let them run overnight. Um, but we'll we'll take a look and, and kind of see where they are like right before bed and then I'll make a decision from there. But let's go take a look. I'll show you what I'm doing. It's a, a really simple process to make your own hot powder or hot pepper powder. You know, you can buy cayenne in the store, sure, but it's going to cost you a few bucks and, you know, you don't know how it was grown or where it came from. Anything that you grow yourself, you know exactly what went into it and what you're putting in that bottle, and the flavor is always gonna be so much better than store-bought. Plus you save a few bucks. Um, you might not save a lot of time, but you save a few bucks. So let's go take a look. So you don't have to do a whole lot with these. You don't have to like slice them up or anything like that. You can just snap off the tops. I actually had got a knife out, but actually these tops come off really easy. So we'll get that knife out of the way and just pull the tops off. That's all you gotta do. So I'm going to finish pulling all these off and then we will put them in the food dryer. Okay, so now that I've got all the tops pulled off, I arranged them on the one of the layers here in the food dryer and then, uh, I was actually able to get them all in one layer. Uh, so, you know, you don't want to crowd them. Uh, give them enough space so that they uh, have plenty of air between them to, to dry. Um, but that's really it. Pop the tops, put them in the dryer, and uh, put the lid on and get it going. All right, so I'm just setting my temperature here to 135 degrees, and um, then we're gonna let this go for, you know, the next 10, 12 hours or whatever it takes. Maybe I'll just get them tomorrow morning, but we'll see, and, and then we'll come back then to do a, a final update to show you uh, you know how dry they get and then uh, getting or turning them into powder okay so peppers are done drying I actually let them go overnight and um, even into the next day but they are I don't know if you can kind of hear that but they're kind of crispy uh, so now we're gonna grind them down into a powder So you can see this doesn't make a whole lot of powder. We only did a few peppers there. 
uh, but I've got another batch um, that is ready to start drying um, that I need to put in the, uh, the hydrator and then I've got more out in the garden to pick as well. Um, I couldn't find a little bottle, a little spice, normal spice bottle, so I am using one of these hot sauce bottles that I have and I got a little funnel so we can get the powder in here as so. Um, one thing uh, that you have to be careful about after you grind these up is that you know it gets some dust going on that has potential to come up in the air and get in your nose and eyes. So one thing that you can do is wear safety glasses and a mask to help prevent that or you can just be really super careful when you are transferring it from uh, your grinder into the bottle. So there we got it. Uh, they actually put more in that bottle than I thought it was going to. Um, and I think after another batch, especially if my next batch is, uh, has a few more peppers in it, um, I'll be able to fill up this bottle. So I didn't stick my nose over it because, uh, you know, I don't want all that going up my nose. But um, I could get the aroma just coming in the air from grinding up. It's got a very smoky kind of almost, uh, you, could, you could almost smell the heat. But um, there you got it. So check this out. This is uh, store-bought cayenne pepper. And you see it's kind of an orange, lighter color. And then this is the ring of fire pepper powder that I just made. So you can kind of see the color difference there. I like how the store-bought says gluten-free. I don't think peppers have gluten in them. They were always gluten-free. Don't fall for the marketing people. Make your own. Looks better. You know what's in it. And it's gluten free. So I hope that was helpful in showing you how you can make your own cayenne style uh, powder. Uh, you know, you don't have to use cayenne peppers. You can use any type of hot pepper that you like. Uh, and then you get different types of heat. You know, you can dry all different types of peppers and get your different levels of heat and use it in all kinds of, of cooking um, and in any of your dishes, however hot you like it. So try drying your own peppers. Just take some safety precautions so that you're not uh, getting all that heat in the wrong places and you'll be good to go. So thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Namaste. Thank you.